I'm going to show you how you can turn this ugly mirror into to this. Okay, so this is what you need to make the whole process done. A towel, uh, some uh, liquid, you know, it, it works with water too. Uh, paper and some tape and a brush. This is really important, especially when it comes to this, these places, you know, where it's really, really tight. That's what she said, I know. Anyways, let's get it done. Let's start off by cleaning this, this type of designs. You know, this design is really, really difficult to, uh, to clean. But what you need to do to clean that, you need a brush. Trust me, a brush works perfect. First, spray some, some of this, and then all you have to do is just to brush. Just brush and brush and brush. It cannot get easier than that, baby. Just take like a clean surface of this towel and just wipe like you know this type of edges these edges is really hard it is really hard to get but just you have to just you know sweat your balls off trust me you guys enjoy watching these type of vlogs you know when i you know make some decoration ideas tutorials you know trust me this is this type of video is gonna help a lot a tons a lot of people that is struggling to you know to be creative i guess but i'm here for you guys you know like always okay so when you're done cleaning the whole mirror and that the next step is to mask uh, the mirror itself so we don't get any paint on it and that's really important to mask the mirror we need a little uh, trust me a little if you are watching this you need to sponsor me asap because i'm doing a really good job for you look Let's see what they have for sale today, uh, this, uh, this weekend. Oh, look, you know, it's haram. We cannot eat that. Anyways, uh, but let's get back to the work. To cover the whole mirror the perfect way and the best way is to use the edges, this type, this edge, to line up with the mirror. You know, there's a gap. There is a gap between it. If you're lucky enough, you just, you can just, you know, slip it in. Hey, yo, pause, pause right here. Not slip in, you know, just go in, you know, you know, you feel me? So, this is what you do. You just line it up like that. And you see, and the whole mirror is actually covered. So this is how it works. You just, you know, place it one by one, cover the whole mirror and make a good work. And that's how it's done, baby. There is another option if you don't want to cover the mirror and if you don't want to mask it and you name it. That option is to throw a little away. And then if you look at the back in every single mirror or a painting, there should be like this type of gaps and this type of metal uh, things around it the whole mirror and that is what secures the mirror in place but if you carefully pull it up it will allow this wood piece to come out and then you can remove the mirror and that's how easy it is let me show you you just need a screwdriver that's all you need baby look you just place it in and then and then you just you know just push it do not push it too much because if you push it too much you will break this little uh, little guy and don't do that just place it in and then up you see that's how easy it is So when that is done, uh, and slowly, slowly, we can try to lift this bracket up and be careful to not push because one small mistake, if you push it a little, little bit too hard, that's what she said, I know it again. And that mural, the weak spot of the of every single mirror is actually the edges, is the edges, the edges is really the weak points. So be careful when you're using this, be really careful. So that's how easy it is to remove the window. You can actually remove the window from the beginning, but it depends on how you work, you know? So it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. Let's go paint this. Okay, so after the first layer, we have to wait at least five minutes or ten minutes. Okay, so after five minutes of uh, waiting, time for a second. Coat. You know, 
pay more attention to the edges if you're gonna paint the edges is really important if you wanna do like a professional work you have to paint every single detail of it when you're done with the painting and just leave it somewhere where it's warm so it can rest overnight and that's the best option trust me okay when the painting is done then it should look like this look how smooth this paint is it actually changed the whole look of the mirror like come on look at this beauty isn't that beautiful so the next step is to paint the flowers and honestly I think gold is probably one of the best and one of the most beautiful colors out here to make it more gorgeous but if you want you can actually add another color if you like and last but not least you need some brushes baby this is what you need make sure to put have some like some soft brushes you can have other type of brushes too but i prefer i prefer this type of brushes because it's actually it's small it's easy and it's really soft and it makes the job way easier than you can ever imagine so as you see i just put some uh, you know some paper underneath and just in case i don't want any any paint on the carpet to be honest and uh, yeah the paint is actually water based can you can remove it with or just water but if you are put some safety first you don't have to do that you know okay let's just open this baby let's have a quick look that's how it looks like it's actually really beautiful but make sure when, whenever you have paint like this make sure you mix it really really good because if you don't it's gonna be messy so make sure to shake it make sure to shake this for at least one minute if you want some good work you gotta sweat your balls off that's the way it is baby yeah that looks that looks really really nice and slowly slowly let, let the paint you know soak into the, the the threads you know so i will have a nice even coat look how beautiful that is when you paint just be really careful like you don't have to you don't have to like push you know just let the brush do the work just imagine that you are bob rose you know just imagine that you are bob rose trust me this is gonna be epic you know imagine if bob rose was still alive you know I'll probably hug him he's he's a legend bro and slowly slowly work your way around like take your time be patient and trust me it's gonna be a beautiful work okay so as you see the first flower is actually done look how amazing this looks like this is actually crazy just one small detail it makes the whole thing way much better like oh, i love this job i mean i actually seriously love it so i'm gonna let the, let the first coat to, to dry for like five minutes uh or probably 10 minutes something like that and then slowly work away around the whole thing and trust me this is actually worth it it is worth every single second of it like it's so beautiful So when you're done painting and this should look like this i have no words to be honest like just look at this gorgeous piece of masterpiece like can you imagine how it was from the beginning i don't know the same and this is a masterpiece like seriously a masterpiece look at this this is actually beautiful every single one of these uh, that you see all the fl uh, flowers I've put only four coats. If you want, you can make it five, but I think four coats is perfect. It's, it's, not, it's not too much either. It has a perfect look and the perfect color. Look, just look at it. I'm, I don't want to say, like, I'm, I'm, I'm speechless to be honest.